everyone, thanks for joining me this week for our next crafting project. Uh, this week we are going to be making our own pinwheels. So um, it's going to be a fun project. So what we're going to do is that we're going to just have a piece of paper and we're going to decorate one side. That's all we're going to start with and then we'll move on from there. But um, some of the other supplies that we're going to have, oh, we're going to have uh, some push pins, uh, one pencil, a perler bead that's going to be important later on, and some scissors. Um, so with that, let's get crafty. So the first thing that we want to do is take our piece of paper and just decorate it however you want. So I'm just going to do a bunch of fun rainbow colors on here and just to get us started, make sure that one whole side of the paper is completely decorated and then we can get started with our next step. So I have my uh, one side colored and then I'm going to have my other side just kind of a plain white and then what I'm going to do is um, then I'm going to make sure that our paper is a square. So I can show you how to do that um, with just kind of folding. So now the next part that we want to do is that we want to make sure that our paper is a square. So we'll just kind of you fold one end to the other just so we can kind of know um, what would be a square. So we want to make sure to cut all this part off. So this will take our scissors. Um, just make sure if you are one of our younger friends, make sure you have an adult or someone a little bit older to help you out. And then we're just going to cut this edge right here, right off. Um, and so then we have our square. And so we're going to take our scissors now and then we'll, um, again with some uh, some help, um, we're going to cut towards the middle um, on one of our corners, but we don't want to go all the way through because then we would just be cutting our paper in half. We're going to go about halfway through and then we're going to stop. So I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, you have all your triangles, basically kind of cut triangles. You wanna use the same edge of the triangle for each piece. And we're gonna almost fold it to the middle, but not press down and just hold it in place. And then, all right. So you might need some help with this part too, because we're going to take this, take our push pin, and we're going to push it through right through the middle to try to make sure to get all four of the pieces. Nope. So there we go. This is in our push pin. And we're going to take our parlor bead and very carefully put it right on top of the pen as well. And we're gonna take our pencil and in the eraser is where the push pin's gonna stay. So then that way we can hold it steady. And with the perler bead, it also helps it give it a little bit of space so it's not just holding tightly against the, against the eraser. And here's our pen wheel. So all you have to do is get some wind, And there you go. So I hope you guys had fun today and um, let me know if you guys are working on anything and I hope to see you all soon.